popping y'all this your boy bishop back for episode 66 of shit that be on my mind if you like what i be saying hit that like button hit that subscribe button this morning the topic is going to be the blue klux klan anti-black war and the reason why i titled it the blue klux klan because they didn't just switch the cluck the clue and it's the blue which is the police um, it's been really uh, I don't want to say depressing because this shit been happening so long it's not even depressing no more it's it's definitely anger frustration uh, Along them lines, man. Um, I mean, starting off with Ahmaud Aubrey in Georgia being killed by some um, neighborhood watch racist motherfuckers uh, that got ties to the police or police stations. Um, Breonna Taylor being killed in Kentucky. Um, with them, you know, Louisville, Kentucky, with the police killing her, um, and then ending it with, you know, oh, we can't forget about Sean Reed, my bad. You know what I'm saying? With Sean Reed being killed in Indianapolis, you know, by the police, and uh, now George Floyd in Minnesota, in Minneapolis. Duh, like, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take, but we got to get off of that, that bullshit, man. And when I mean bullshit, I mean we going to have to really start roasting pigs on the fire, literally. And if anybody don't understand that analogy, I don't know what else to tell you. But if we don't start roasting pigs on the fire, dog, they going to keep doing what they going to keep doing to us. Now, I get, you know people afraid for their lives or you know they didn't create a certain livelihood and they got a certain friends and you know you don't want to alienate yourself and you know i get it you know what i mean so if you don't want to fuck with this situation or this type of situation just move out the way and let the ones who want to get down like that get down like that and don't criticize them you know what i'm saying just you don't have to agree with it but you don't have to criticize them either because at the end of the day, man, there's no let you can't legislate racism. Let me say that again. So for the people who thinking, oh, we just got to get the right president. We just got to get the right such and such and got to get the right. Th you can't legislate something that's inside of them. Duh. This shit is in their DNA. It's in their heart. You can't legislate that. That's like trying to legislate domestic violence. Only thing they can do is punish the per the people who commit domestic violence towards women. They can't legislate why, you know what I mean, them to stop hitting women or hurting women or trying to kill women. You can't legislate that. Only thing you can do is put in legislation. If they do such and such, we will convict them on this and they will go to jail for a long time. Right? Same thing with racism. You can't legislate it. You just have to... Um, create these laws but they don't even they don't even execute the laws like right now in minnesota in minneapolis the prosecutor is saying he ain't got enough evidence and he don't want to rush to come to, to uh, put charges on the police officers who basically killed george floyd he don't he, they, he they don't even want to do it so at the end of the day what do you do like think about it like what do you do duh is book is, is is laws on the book they don't even want to enforce because it's one it's their own. So they picking and choosing what to legislate. I mean, what to 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 charge people with and what not to charge people with. If it was vice versa, and it was somebody who did something to a cop, man, they wouldn't even hesitate to bring up charges and hey, let's go get him and lock him up. They wouldn't hesitate. So like I said, man, we can't legislate our way out this shit. 
We can't sing our way out this shit. You got the city councilwoman. I forgot her name for uh, on the Minneapolis Cinecon. She trying to sing Amazing Grace. Man, that shit is dead, dog. We ain't slaves no more, man. That shit is dead. Ain't nobody about to be singing no Amazing Grace. Ain't nobody about to be, you know, the, the fiance, which is a white lady. Say if George Floyd was here, he would want y'all to forget the cops. That shit dead. Nobody about to forget them fucking crackers, dog. That's that. Nah, man. They know what the fuck they was doing. Ain't no forgiveness. They get their forgiveness when they check out of this bitch. And if the good Lord or whoever above want to forgive them, that's on him. But you know what I'm saying? As far as us, we don't need to forgive them, dog. Period. I don't want to hear that shit. You know? We can't uh, protest our way out of this situation. As you see, we can't ride our situ ourselves out of this situation. They don't care. They'll let the whole city burn. Before they're convicted or bring up charges on these people, man. They will let a whole fucking city burn to the ground. Last night, man, they burnt the precinct up. One of the precincts where the police officers where they worked at. They let that bitch burn. They let them overrun it and let them burn it down. All they want them to do is lock these motherfuckers up. And that can stop all this drama. But they'd rather let the whole city burn. The whole city, dog. Because they don't want to lock these motherfuckers up or press charges or bring up charges on these people, man. That's deep. Like, you got to sit and think about that, man. That's how deep racism is, man. This shit is deeper than what y'all think, man. Like, for all the ones who thinking we done came a long way, I agree with you on some of that. Some of we done made strides, but a lot of strides because we basically uh, getting along, playing along to get along. But as you see, soon as they do something to us, they expect us to still have that same mindset as far as, okay, we killed a black man or we killed a black woman. We, we still don't expect y'all to say nothing. You know, you got a nice little job over here. You got a nice little home. You got a boat. You got a Cadillac. You know, you got a couple white friends, co-workers. Everything's fine, sir. No, it's not. So I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I just know they're going to start respecting us when we start roasting pigs on the fire, man. Until we do that, all the other shit that's being, being done right now, shit ain't going to do nothing, man. They don't respect us. They will respect. Once they start seeing they, seeing they fellow uh, officers with flag draped coffins, them niggas ain't going to respect us, man. You know what I mean? Period. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no way out this, man. You know what I mean? And for the one, like I said again, that's afraid to lose their lives. Listen, man, we kill each other every fucking day, dude. Every day, man. Niggas get shot in the head forty times with a with a extendo. Niggas always talking about how many guns they got in their songs and what they gonna do to niggas. We need to direct, redirect that energy, my nigga. Redirect that energy, nigga. Turn that shit over there. You know what I mean? Just like how a nigga be sitting in his car with his girl, with his kids, and nigga pull up and break and spray that bitch in broad daylight. That energy got to go over somewhere else, man. You know where it need to go, man. Stop playing. You know? So, we take a chance on living and dying every day. It's not a guarantee that you're going to live when you wake up. You know what I mean? You can die from anything. You can die in a, a car crash. You can die in an airplane crash. You can die in your damn sleep. You can die from nature. You can you take a chance. We're not giving. Every day is a, a blessing, dude. But if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything, man. Period. You got to fight, man. I'll be damned if I let somebody I love in front of me and I'm recording them and telling the police don't kill them. Especially my kids, man. My wife, like they had a, it, like I'm here in Detroit, man. They had a situation somewhere on the outside of uh, Detroit. I forgot the little city name where the police attacked the the wife and her husband. Where the attacked the wife, you know, trying to lock her up for something. I forgot what it was. I don't know the whole back background on the story. But they were trying to, you know, arrest her. And my man stepped in. The husband stepped in. He he did the best he could. But me in my mind, I felt like he supposed to have died that day, dog. Like, they not about to... He, this police are beating on his wife in her face, man. 
can't happen to man. Just oh man, just I, I man, I ain't Superman, yo. I'm not. I'm not the strongest motherfucker, man. But not my loved ones, man. You just gonna have to, you know what I mean? It's cool, you know what I mean? I got insurance, you know what I mean? My folk will be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? But I just can't. I just couldn't, man. I just couldn't stand there and be screaming and crying and please get off her, or please get off my kids, or please get off my... I just, nah, man. And recording it? Nah. I'm straight, dude. I can't do that one. It just ain't in my DNA, man. I don't know what's in y'all DNA. I think y'all got the same DNA, but we just afraid to activate it. We activate it on ourselves instantly. You know, when it comes to some drama amongst each other, we instantly activate that shit on each other. But when it comes to white folk and these police, we want to sit and huddle. What do we do? Same shit you do in the hood, man. Same shit you do in the hood. So that's all I got to say on it. We need to start responding back militarily. Uh, guerrilla warfare, you know, like the, the, art, the art of war, we need to really study this shit man and really be strategic on how we move i ain't saying being stupid i ain't saying that i ain't saying no kamikaze you know suicide mission ass shit either you know what i mean because it's sad to say this but i know some cats in the hood that didn't took some cats life and they still right uh still in the hood they still live and they still around here now is that wrong yeah but the point i'm trying to make is it can be done you understand it can be done so if it can be done with us it can be done with them so if you know if that go over your head, I don't, again, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? All I know is uh, P is gonna have to be roasted on the fire, man. If y'all niggas ain't ready for that, there's no such thing as a revolution will be televised. And with that, with that said, I'm out.